everyone, welcome to back my channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a like up. The reality star opened up about the duo's strained relationship and said that she hasn't spoken with Farah, 31, since the two had a falling out in 2021. Fabra explained that despite numerous attempts to see her 14-year-old granddaughter, Sophia, Farah has refused to let that happen, according to the interview with the gossip page Teen Mom Fans. The 65-year-old claimed that her daughter allegedly blocked her number and cut off any form of communication with her. Fans are familiar with the pair's complicated relationship as it was a storyline during their time on Teen Mom OG. Although Farah has continued to keep her distance from her mother, Debra hopes they can one day reconnect. I wish I could speak to Farah. I miss Sophia and I would do anything to see her. Times are rough, but I know God will prevail in the end, she told Teen Mom fans. In October 2021, Debra exclusively spoke to the U.S. Sun about the estrangement. We haven't talked for quite some time. May was the last time I spoke to her. At the time, Debra wouldn't reveal the reason for the falling out, as she said it was a private matter. She added that she also has no relationship with her granddaughter. Debra continued, I am sad because Sophia is an amazing person and I love her so much. We had years together. I love her. I miss her. The rapper added that she will always hope the two will mend their relationship. She said, Sometimes you feel like you're owed an apology. When you love people like Christ loves us and forgives us, we need to do likewise. Love each other, forgive each other, and work together. That's where I'm at. What mother would not want that? Debra continued that while she doesn't blame their appearance on the MTV show for their falling out, she does believe the spotlight changed Farah. She said, When you're on TV, your world changes and things become different. It is what it is. It's because you're working in a different realm. Some of that goes to some people's heads. They're not as approachable or teachable as they used to be. Going on TV did have an effect. It always does. It's being human. I'm not saying anything bad about MTV or my daughter, but it changed her to feeling more entitled. Even if you're president, you should always have respect and honor for other people. Shortly after, Debra gave an update on her progress in mending her bond with her daughter on her YouTube channel. During an interview with Farrah's childhood friend Tyler Cooksey, Debra said, Unfortunately, as a mom, it was really hard for me to let go. Whenever you love people, you never want to let them go. Farrah grew up, she turned 30, you have to make a choice. I had to make a choice that I need to be treated with common courtesy and respect. And if that's not happening, that means I don't respect my own self. So I had to call a timeout. I can't put up with this. Right now, I am not talking to Farah because of an incident that occurred. I felt really hurt and disrespected. I am praying for resolution, and I would love nothing more than to have restoration. But I have to be treated with kindness and respect. And in January 2022, she shared her concerns for her granddaughter, Sophia following Farah's arrest for her scuffle with a security guard. Dira exclusively told the U.S. Sun, I'm afraid for my Sophia and am always praying for a miracle. Bad behavior has consequences and you have to treat people with respect. People who don't have to get corrected. Dira ended by saying that her daughter believes she is always the victim. Farah has made headlines over the years, often over fans' concerns about her treatment of her daughter. Mom Shamers recently slammed the MTV alum for allowing her daughter to get multiple piercings on her face. Farah clapped back at her critics and defended herself in an exclusive interview with In Touch Weekly. I will be shaving my daughter. I love E and support Sophia 100% on who and what she wants to become. The Mom Shamers should recognize what some kids will grow out of and what they will not. She added, that's part of a teen journey as I don't have my belly button piercing anymore. Farah concluded, I had all the compassion for her as I wish I had as a teen. 
Earlier this month, she shared photos and videos of the mother-daughter pair during their Tokyo vacation.